you could change any choice you have ever made, would you? You can always make another choice and change the course of your success. Everyone has the potency to make inspired choices. Get ready to listen, share, and experience the creativity that is you. Now, here is the host of the Inspired Choices Show, business optimization expert, Christine McIver. Welcome, 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 everyone. Tonight, we are talking about taking the next step when you want to quit. I'm your host, Christine McIver, here on the Inspired Choices Show on the Inspired Choices Network. And where are you listening from? Where are you listening live or are you listening in the replay? Wherever you are, I would love you to put hashtag live or hashtag replay. We are live at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com forward slash chat room. And you are welcome to come on over and have a conversation with all of us in the chat room. You could be asking questions about tonight's show and just interacting and having a good time. So every Wednesday, every hump day, we're over here having a great time talking about some challenging conversations oftentimes. And tonight is not going to be any different. And I'm I'm telling you, I'm not going to be holding back tonight. I'm going to be sharing a lot of um, a lot of hard truths, and I'm also going to be sharing a lot of personal experiences. So I hope you're ready for that. So let's get into the show. Taking that next step when you want to quit. What do you do when you want to quit? Do you scream? Do you cry? Do you bury your head? Do you close the curtains and disengage from the world believing it is over? Or do you double down and push harder and make it happen? Two extremes, right? Usually we do both at different stages in the challenging roller coaster that of our life and our business. So tonight's show is going to be about personal and it's going to be about business because without the personal life, you're not going to have the business life. And they often, especially with subject like this, they roll over into each other. So what if neither works? What if running away and burying your head or pushing harder, doubling down and pushing harder? What if that doesn't work? If you're ready to change all of this, take control of your life and drive your business forward to greater success, come and join this episode. We are going to really look at and changing the I want to quit mindset. And it's not an easy thing to change. So I w- I'm really curious how many of you out there have ever had that moment or many moments perhaps of where you just want to throw your arms up in the air and say, I want to quit. I want to quit. I can't take this anymore. It's, it's easy. It's easy for us to do that. And if you are really suffering emotionally and you're depressed and you have a lot of anxiety that's going on, it's totally understandable. So anything I share with you tonight, I want you to know that you're not wrong. You're not wrong for ever ever having had those feelings. You're not wrong for wanting to run away. And you're not wrong for doubling down. There's nothing wrong in it. But what if there is a better way? What if there is an easier way? And that's what I really want to share with you tonight. So I'm going to dive right in and I'm going to tell you about my personal journey. And, you know, I've been a, um, (laughs) I've got a great comment in the chat room. If I have $10 for every time I have said that I would have zero, (laughs) that said this, I would have zero financial concerns. (laughs) Wow. Wow. That's a lot of $10 bills, right? Um, same, same with me. I've, I've, if I had a dollar for every time I said, that's it, I'm done. I want to quit. I would be a rich, rich person for sure. But let me tell you about some of my journey and some of what I have experienced. You know, from a very young age, I had a lot of emotions. I would laugh loud. I would cry loud. I I really felt a lot. And, you know, growing up in um, primarily around three brothers, I had six older siblings, but they were they were gone by the time I was about 10 years old. And so I was being raised with three boys. 
and a girl with a lot of emotion that felt like she had to defend herself all of the time. Um, yeah, it feel it felt like I needed to push really, really hard and at times just really, really wanted to give up. I felt like a lot of the times that the world was against me. I felt like, why? Why am I even here? You know, I I went into that question when I was young, and I've gone into that question so many times in my life. And, and really sitting back and going, it doesn't make any sense. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. This isn't going my way. This isn't going my way. You know, it just seems like it's too much. It's too much. And why why should I even bother? Why should I even bother? When you are in that mindset, when you are in the defeatist energy and you feel like you want to quit, it's a different energy. Let me say this. It's a different energy from wanting to change something, wanting to change a profession, wanting to move in a different direction, wanting to close down one business and start another business. This is the energy of I want to quit. I want to run away. And how in God's name how do I even go on? Because all I can think about, all I want to do is I want to quit. I had a time in my life, um, I had worked in my profession for uh, many years, invested a lot of time, a lot of money, and I got to a point where I felt like I could absolutely do nothing right. I felt like everyone around me, my peers, um, they were all kind of turning their back on me and some of them even were backstabbing me and that that is fact that that was going on and I felt like I didn't have any choice in the matter that I you know really I allowed the emotions to come over me and and really swallow me up one of the biggest things that I know today is when we don't have that belief in ourselves and we don't have the confidence in ourselves when challenging times come, we want to run and run away even more because we don't have the strength of character. We don't believe in who we are and in what we are doing. So it's easy to give up. It's easier to give up. And it's easier to feel like you're not good enough. And that's why everything is going wrong. So one of the very first things that we have to do is we've got to learn to develop our confidence within ourself. Now, this has to do with personal. This has to do with business. This has to do with your career. Any any area We've got to learn to cultivate that confidence within ourselves. And I'm going to come back to that um, a little bit later in tonight's show about how do we cultivate that confidence. So when we are oftentimes in this, I want to quit energy, I really just want to run away. What we are doing is we start looking at so many areas of our life. And because you're in that energy you start to look at what's going wrong in different areas. It's like it's all you can see. You've got the blinders on and all you can see is what's wrong. You're you're catastrophizing. Uh, I don't know if that's an actual word, but it's a word that I've used for many, many years. And it's taking the worst of everything and you're just piling it on and piling it on. And and you're piling it on you. You're piling it on your fears, your anxiety, and your broken heart. Because your heart is broken when you feel like you can't go on, right? And this is so, so important to notice. Am I looking at many different areas and, and bringing it all together and saying nothing's working? Now, I'm not talking about, but this can certainly go in that direction. I'm not talking about getting to the point where you want to leave your body. Absolutely, you can experience this and then get to that stage. I am talking about really just feeling like that real defeatist energy. And when you can acknowledge that this is what I'm feeling, and you acknowledge that this is really taking a big toll on me, when you you can kind of step back from it, even just, you know, two or three steps back, you're going to be able to start to change this. If you find 
that this is occurring again and again and again, there is a couple of things that you need to start doing. And this is one of the things that I started to learn about myself is I was so aware, but I didn't know that I was aware that I was actually picking up on how other people were feeling. So if you're someone out there that cares very deeply for other people, if you think about other people often, if they pop into your mind often and you're concerned about them or you just kind of like, hmm, why am I thinking about them? And that's going into your mind. You're picking up on their energies. So you are someone who is aware. And if you sense that there's something wrong with people, then you have a very high level of sensitivity. You sense what's going on. Well, you don't have to be in the room with someone. You don't have to be looking at them, touching them, talking to them to be able to sense when something is going on with someone else. You, we all have this ability. We, many of us don't believe that we have this ability. I didn't believe it for a very long time either. But we all have this ability to pick up what on what's going on with other people. And the other piece is if you are in conversation with people, let's say you're in a business group and you are talking to someone in that group and they are talking about their challenges, right? And they're talking about what's not working for them. And they're starting to get like, I'm really, I'm getting discouraged. I've been trying this and I've been trying that. You know, you may right away want to jump in and help them and give them ideas. That's somebody that cares, that's very aware and sensitive will do that. But here's a big thing that happens is when we leave those conversations, we take the energy of that conversation with us. And if we don't make a distinction right then and there, what I'm feeling, the sadness, the the discouragement that I'm feeling is that person's. It's not mine. And that's a really critical thing for you to acknowledge that even when you're leaving, because when you have a big caring, you also open up your energy Not only to hold them energetically and caring, but you also start to absorb that. And then what happens is we go away and we start to experience and sometimes replicate the emotions of what they've been feeling. And if we're not being super conscious around that, we can start to experience and be seeing only the doubt or the negative things in our businesses that they were speaking to. And before you know it, you start to go down that same rabbit hole of feeling discouraged. And again, how many times are you putting on the blinders to only seeing what's wrong? We have been taught, and I know this is not the first time you've probably heard this, but we have been taught to solve problems. We go to school. How do we learn? How do they teach us to learn? Right? Where do they, where, what are the must haves? Right? Math, English, science, geography, history. Solve it. Go find the problem. Solve it. Go fix it. Right? It, art and music, right? We are still told to do it right in a way. We're, we're, always out there looking and seeking what's not great about what we've just created. Now, a lot of people will talk about, oh, yeah, you know, when I would bring home my, when I would bring home my tests, I would get, you know, 90, 95, 98. And jokingly, my dad would say, well, what happened to the other two points? What happened to the other five points, right? How many people have experienced that and felt like they needed to seek the problem deeper and deeper. This is this has been cultivating a culture of I'm not good enough, which leads us to wanting to quit. This is very important for you to start to acknowledge that. And if you've ever had that experience where where someone has said that to you, jokingly or not, okay, why did you get third? What did the other person do that was better than you? 
what, you came in seventh and there was only seven people, right? If you've ever experienced that, it's like you've been stamped with the energy of you're not good enough. And you get enough of those not good enoughs, it can start to get overwhelming and want to move you into quitting. My friends, I don't want you to quit. And I want to show you some really simple ways that you can take the next step and come out of that energy when it pops up in your world. So if you are on Facebook, we're going to stop the streaming and you're going to want to come on over to inspiredchoicesnetwork.com forward slash chat room. And if you are listening in the replays or you're, you know, wherever you are, keep listening. We'll be back after a very short commercial break. So you're listening to Christine McIver on the Inspired Choices show here on the Inspired Choices Network. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices based on our past experiences or based on what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert, Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know, but may not choose, that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back. She brings all her expertise to every show. Are you ready to create and live the life you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Oh, wow. We are having a big conversation in the chat room. It's it's making some people really sad. And um, what we were talking about was just realizing the I'm not good enough crap that we've all been dealing with. Every single person deals with this crap. And, you know, I think that it's getting louder and louder and louder, especially with the age of computers. You know, there's so many people communicate, especially Children that are in school, you know, teenagers, young adults, they do so much online and people make fun of them easily. And it's just it's ridiculous at how easily we can be put down. So if you're experiencing that, I want to encourage you to step away from electronics a little bit. Pull back. Even if you were to cut out like 10 percent of how much you are online and you won't be buying into as much of that bull. Or when that you start to see that crap, just move on from it. You do not have to stay and listen to that crap. So there's so much I want to share with you. And, and one of the biggest things that I really want to talk to you about is, you know, you have choice in all of these things. You came here into this body for a reason. You are here for a reason. And the odds of you actually coming into body is so minute, it would blow your mind. And I'm not going to go into all that tonight. I have done that before. But just know that your journey here has not been by mistake. It's not just because your parents had sex and oops, you were born. No, there is a, I believe very, very strongly that you came here for a reason and your reasons are unique to you. There is a book and I strongly, I refer to this book all the time. I actually should be making money off this book. It's called Journey of Souls by Michael Newton. If you want to learn more about um, 
the purpose of you being here and um, how that all works. Check that book out. It's one of my most favorite, favorite books. So that's Journey of Souls. So you came here for a reason. And you are, you know, we all know that our thumbprint, our fingerprint is unique to us, right? So is everything else about you is unique. One of the biggest reasons why we think we're not good enough is because we're looking outside of ourselves, especially in business, especially in business today online. We are looking outside of ourselves and we are seeing what everyone else is doing and we are comparing ourselves to them. We're using someone and I'm going to as soon as I'm going to say this, somebody's going to pop in your mind and I want you to pay attention to this. We are using someone we are seeing online as the marker of what to reach towards. We are using another person in business as the, they're the ones that you want to reach up to be like. All right. And I want to tell you to stop that bullshit. Stop it. If there are people that you admire, if there are people that have skills that you would like to learn, that's great. But stop trying to be like somebody else because that's the tricky, tricky lane that we oftentimes go down that gets us caught up in this I'm not good enough bull. And I'll tell you something. I have had, you know, I'm the CEO of the Inspired Choices Network. I have been producing um, shows since 2014. And so we're in our ninth year. I'm in my ninth. I guess I'm in my 10th year of producing shows. I have heard a lot of people speak. I have heard a lot of hosts. I've trained a lot of hosts and I've heard how they feel about themselves, their viewpoint about themselves. I've heard them talk about how they're not good enough and how they criticize themselves. It is it's rampant. It's everywhere. And here is something I want you to remember. This is so important is that. Number one, you came here for a reason. You are unique and your uniqueness is required here. And your voice and your message and what's in your heart and what's in your awareness is a gift to the world. But you've got to start cultivating your knowing, your complete understanding of that. You have got to get to that space because because you are worthy of having that feeling of of confidence. You're worthy of having that that ability to say, you know what, I am good at what I do. You are worthy of having people discover you and say, oh, my gosh, I'm so, so happy I found you. There are people that are looking for your message. There are people that are needing to hear what you have to say. There are people that are here that are looking for what you can deliver to them that no one else can deliver. And when we start to cultivate that knowledge and we remind ourselves of that every single solitary day, we start to show up even more in our confidence, even more in our awareness, we start to really put our shoulders back and we stand up in the world with the ability to bring forth even more brilliance. So when you are feeling like you want to quit, it's so imperative that we start to cultivate. And and if you're not feeling that way right now, If you're not feeling like I want to quit, this is the perfect time to start doing some of the exercises that I'm going to share with you tonight. If you are feeling like you want to quit, one of the very important things that you need to do is you need to find someone that is going to have your back, but not coddle you. You see, one of the things that happens is when we share with someone that we feel like quitting, we feel like giving up. And we go into that deep sorrow or even go into a victim energy. (laughs) Most people, what they do is they will come in and they will coddle you. And, and, And I don't mean they mean to do that, but they feel like what they're supposed to do is go, oh, I'm so sorry, Christine, and put their arms around you. Now, you may need someone to put their arms around you so you can cry for a little while. And then it needs to change. 
So if you have someone that is going to just continuously coddle you and feel sorry for you, that energy, that even that energy of feeling sorry for you, it's so heavy, it's so dense, and it will keep you down. It will keep you in that energy. What you need is to have someone that has got your back, that will support you, but will also be there to tell you where you're full of crap, where you're lying to yourself where you're not having your own back. That is so important. That's step number one. You've got to have that person in your life. If you don't have that person in your life, it's time to go look for them. If you're someone who's really, really struggling, send me an email, christine at inspiredchoices.ca. I know this is one of the reasons that I was put here, that I came here. I know that this is one of my gifts. I know that because I can see the truth about people when they can't see the truth about themselves. I'm not the only one, but I am definitely someone that can do that. And I had two very dear friends say that to me today uh, on social media, that I'm the person they turn to when they feel like that. And that just fills my heart because that's one of the things that I absolutely know that I can see past the bull. And I don't sit there and go into a a pity party with you. I will love you up for sure, but I'm not going into a pity party with you because that doesn't change it. And what you need is someone that's going to help you change it, right? Can I get an amen on that? Um, okay, we've got somebody said, oh, Karen Leslie is in the chat room. Karen Leslie is one of our hosts on the Inspired Choices Network. Uh, she is the host of Cultivating Kindness with Karen. And she said, in regards to getting some confidence, start a podcast and you you shorten that journey, that journey down that the poor me journey. I'm sure that's what she's talking about. It's so, so true. Stretch yourself expand yourself to learn to build up your confidence. Here's one of the things that I really want you to do. This is an exercise I want to encourage you to do. I want you to write down, look at those areas of your life where you can very easily see what's not right about it. And I want you to write down three things, three things that you've done right in that area. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a big thing. It can be a very small thing. You might feel like you don't have a great relationship with your partner, your partner being, you know, your husband, your wife, whatever that, whatever that is. You may feel like there's problems in your relationship. Write down three things that is right about that relationship that you've contributed to. So I was kind and I said, good morning. Sometimes that's about all we've got. Right. If we're in a really bad mood with that person, I can remember when I was married and not happily married, I can tell you that. And it would take a lot of energy for me to be kind. But it was better for me, for me to be kind instead of carrying around that burden of anger. So look for three things in your business. Look for three things that you have accomplished every day. What did you do today? What are three things that you did? Maybe when it comes to your body, what are three things that you did today? Did you drink a good quantity of water? Did you say kind things to your body? Did you dress your body in a beautiful way? Did you bathe your body? Did you actually finish something that you wanted to start? Did you start something you've been thinking about starting? Write down three things. And here's the really big reason why. Because when you're someone that's always looking for the problems and you're not acknowledging the things that you are doing well, that you have accomplished, you are flooding your mind with problems. And what do you, what happens is you go to bed with problems, you wake up with problems, and you keep that energy going. You're going to affect your client base. You're going to affect your bottom line, your financial bottom line. You're going to affect your body. You're going to affect your mental health. This has a real domino effect. And you can turn that around and have a domino effect in the other direction when you're willing to acknowledge the good things that you did. And when someone asks you, how are you? Or, you know, how was today for you? Or what did you what did you get to up to today? Tell them something positive. And it's not for them. It's for you. 
because the messaging that you've got going in your head, we've got to shift it from paying attention to the problem to paying attention to the accomplishments because we need to boost your confidence, right? And how do we boost our confidence? By showing the value to ourselves of what we have brought to the table. This is so, so critical. So we're up to our next break. How the heck did that happen? (laughs) Oh my gosh. So I want to encourage you to really write this down. I'm telling you, it's so simple and it doesn't have to be complicated. And when we get back, I've got another exercise that I want you to add into this when you're ready, of course. And um, so you're listening to Inspired Choices. I'm your host, Christine McIver. Tonight, we're talking about taking the next step when you want to quit. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices based on our past experiences or based on what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back. She brings all her expertise to every show. Are you ready to create and live the life you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert, Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. How many of you have a way of doing things that you've been doing the same way for years and years and years, and it's not getting you into a place of joy and pleasure with your life and your business? How many of you? You know what? We're all doing that. We have routine. We have behaviors. We have these systems that we we have in our mind. And, you know, you can ask, I could ask you a question like, did you brush your teeth today? And uh, nine times out of 10, people will go, I think I did. They will check in because it's such an automatic that they're not paying attention. They don't pay attention to, did you make the bed or did you close the garage or where's the keys, right? We're not present. And when we're not present, we're on that autopilot. And it's so easy when we are on that autopilot to go into that stinking thinking, to go into the catastrophizing of put just seeing the crap that's piled up in our lives and making a huge pile of it and burying ourselves under it. Your habits are not the greatest things for you. If you are not living a, jo- a life of joy and pleasure, and you're not having joy and pleasure in your business. You've got to change something. And I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to understand that you definitely have the ability to be successful. Anything you think about can come about. It's available to you. If you dream about something, it's available. So what's the difference between where you are today and where you want to be? The difference is your belief and your determination, your determination to get there. And I'm challenging you to change how you're doing it. In At the beginning of the show, I talked about, you know, closing the curtains and, and wanting to just run away. I did that. I actually did that. I went home and I closed the curtains after that terrible situation when I where I was at work. And I really did not want to be, I did not want to see anyone. I didn't want to 
go out. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to eat. I didn't nothing. I just wanted to run away from the world. I wanted to hide because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't have the confidence that I have today. And I didn't know that I was worthy of having joy and pleasure in my life and believing in myself. I can remember telling a girlfriend about the closing the curtains and uh, every once in a while she will contact me and she go, are the curtains open? And it just touches my heart so much. It touches my heart because she cares about me and she believes in me. And sometimes we need people in our lives like that until we can believe in ourselves. And what I want you to do is I want you to understand that you, it's so important to have someone like that, but it's most important for you to then take take the reins of your life and start to move forward to believe in yourself. People are watching you. People are watching you because they don't believe in themselves. So when you step up and you start believing in yourself with that confidence, you inspire them. You inspire them and they start to pay attention and they start to mimic what you're doing in believing in yourself. This is not as hard as it seems. It's not as hard as it seems. And I understand about being down low, low, low. But here's the thing, just like you would acknowledge something with a child, you need to treat yourself in that same way. When your child was very, very young and they did something that they'd never done before, how excited were you? How much did you celebrate with them? Oh, my God. Guess what? I'm not going to say my children's names. They will kill me. Oh, my God. Johnny. Johnny ate his food with a fork. Oh, my gosh. Johnny just took his first step. This is amazing. Oh, my God. We just took the training wheels off and Johnny didn't fall. Oh, my God. Right. We celebrate those moments of accomplishment. Why? Why do we do that for others and not for ourselves? Do you know why? Because we're still in the mindset of what's wrong. I need to fix it. I need to fix this. I need to fix this. We've not been programmed to look for the things we've accomplished. And secondly, and this is your second exercise, to celebrate them. Celebrating is so important to celebrate your accomplishments. And you don't have to, you know, go buy yourself a plane as a celebration, but you need to celebrate even looking yourself in the eye and saying, you did good today, Christine. You did real good. That is a form of celebration. Even being able to look yourself in the eye and say, I love you. That took me so long to be able to do that. But a form of celebrating with what you've accomplished, what that does is it starts to create new neural pathways of what your brain is paying attention to. You go to bed in with a smile on your face and you wake up with less heaviness than you woke up yesterday. Remember, what you are seeking, you will find. And if you are seeking to fix problems, problems will show up. The universe delivers every single solitary time. It's up to you to change the channel, change the programming. I had never thought of celebrating anything until I met you, Karen said that. Oh, Karen, I absolutely love that. It makes me so happy that that you're celebrating now. Celebration. And, and I celebrate in little ways. I might get myself an ice cream. I might have a nice glass of wine. I might take myself down to the water and enjoy the sunrise. Celebrating doesn't have to mean spending money. Celebrating doesn't even have to mean sharing it with anybody else. But acknowledging what you have accomplished and celebrating that starts to change everything. It starts to change everything. And you can understand that because look at Johnny. What did Johnny do? Johnny got on that bike again and again and kept doing it until Johnny could do it. No problem ever, ever, ever again. And then because it just became something he did all the time, it was no longer important. And that's not true, is it? It's not true that it's no longer important. Everything that we do every single day is important. No matter what your job is, it's important. 
You know, I can remember when I was in human resources and I would I would talk, I would train a lot of the employees um, around caring for other people. And, and at one point I was um, teaching them health and safety and I was working in a restaurant um, industry. I had um, there was about eight restaurants to this the, the core and I was teaching all the employees health and safety. And I asked all of them. Who's the most important um, employee? What's the most important position here in the restaurant? And most people said the chef, right? Most people said the chef. And, you know, some other people might say, you know, the CEO or whatever. And um, they were all wrong. The most important person, the most important position in a restaurant is the dishwasher. (laughs) Because if the dishes come out dirty, they're going to send the food back. The waitress is not going to get a tip. The restaurant's not going to get these people returning. And the chef might get, you know, in trouble because he was serving food on dirty plates. That's just a really small example around how we focus on on what we think is important to celebrate. Right. I can remember at the end of the shifts when the the dishwashers were nearly the last people to leave because, you know, that's the last thing you're doing is is cleaning those dishes. And I would go up to them and I would say, thank you. Thank you for doing the dishes. And they would look at me like, what is this crazy lady? And I'm like, you matter. You make a big difference in this organization. And, you know, uh, teaching them to acknowledge themselves and teaching them to value what they did is they, again, they stood up taller and they did an excellent job. But you don't have to wait for someone else to acknowledge you. If we are always seeking, especially as business owners, if we're always seeking outside validation, we can get caught up in I'm not good enough because if the validation stop, right, then that That need is not being filled and we're going to start to look for, again, what's not working. We need to learn to give this validation to ourselves. We need to learn to build up our confidence. And when I'm talking about confidence, I'm talking about knowing that what you do is excellent. What you deliver, you deliver with the top quality that you possibly can. I'm not talking about arrogance. There is a big difference between arrogance and confidence. Arrogance is saying, I'm better than you. That's not what confidence is. Confidence is, I know what I do is excellent. And I know what I deliver is top notch. There is a big difference between that. And I was in a... um. I was in a networking group today and it was really interesting because this show has been planned for weeks on this date. But we went into this networking group and what we were to do, we were to um, we were to tell we were to go into these breakout rooms and talk about a song that represents us in business. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can never remember the names of songs. I'm just not really great at that. And um it was like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? And so we went in there and, you know, I really started talking about it. And the song that popped into my head was Me Too. And it's by uh, Megan Trainer. And it was like, if I was you, I'd want to be Me Too. And it's it's one of my very favorite songs. But what it said, to, what it talks about with for me is I believe in myself and I'm confident in what I've done. And I know that what I deliver is top notch. And why wouldn't you want to be me? And I don't mean that you would want to be me as in you should envy being me. But why wouldn't you want to be me, someone that has confidence in themselves? Right? We should all have the confidence in ourselves to be able to stand up and say, what I do matters and I'm excellent at what I do. And I know that there's no one else out there that delivers what we deliver here on the Inspired Choices Network. I know that. I know that 100 percent and I believe in it so much that I will tell anyone that asks. And this is not about arrogance. This is about years of working our craft and working the business to the point that we have a system down so much that our hosts feel so incredibly supported. They're blown away. When I bring a new host onto the network and I show them everything that we do for them, they are completely blown away. And that has been because of my commitment to excellence. But how did I get there? I got there by not quitting, 
And I got there by acknowledging several things every single day that I accomplished well and celebrating them. This is a big, big part of taking that next step. We are up to our last break. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Please stick around. I've got a little bit more that I want to share with you, and then we're going to be wrapping up the show. I'm so glad you were here tonight. So you are listening to Inspired Choices. I'm your host, Christine McIver, here on the Inspired Choices Network. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices based on our past experiences or based on what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back. She brings all her expertise to every show. Are you ready to create and live the life you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thank you for being here. I am Christine McIver with the Inspired Choices Show here on the Inspired Choices Network. We just have a few minutes left. And before we finish, I want to share one of my favorite poems um, that was shared with me many, many, many years ago. It was a gift on a little plaque that I have, and it's called Don't Quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're drudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, Rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man. Often the struggle has given up, struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late when the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your hardest hit. It's when things seem worst that you must not quit. That is such an important message. It's so important. I also want to share with you that what is crucial for you to remember and, and write it down somewhere and have it with you is that there is always another choice that you can be making when things seem very, very difficult. You know that oftentimes we feel like we don't have a choice. How many times have you said that in your life? I don't have a choice. I had to do this. I don't have a choice. That's not true. You always have other choices. You may not know what the choices are. You may not be able to see the choices. But if you will open up to the possibility and even ask the universe, universe, show me. Show me what is possible for me right now in this situation. And be willing 
to receive a new possibility. Be willing to suspend your doubt. Be willing to know that there's other choices in the world. Because if you've made up your mind that you you have no other choice, you're not actually going to see the different possibilities. That's an extremely important thing that you need to be aware of. There are many, many, many more choices than we are ever made aware of. Again, we're in the same habit. We're around the same people. We we don't look outside of and really expand our awareness on what some of the other possibilities are. You've got to be willing to grow yourself and expand the possibilities around you. You know, when you're in business, most especially, you've got to be able to challenge yourself to look beyond where you have been creating. And and it's not about running out there and trying to buy every product or, or buy every um, course. It's not about that. It's about being willing to be open to see new possibilities. When you're willing to receive new possibilities, when you're willing to understand that there is something else available for you because you're asking for it, it will be delivered. But if you've got doubt in there and you just keep saying to yourself, maybe I should just quit, maybe I should just leave, maybe this, maybe that, you're going to go down that rabbit hole. And again, I want you to come back, look at what you've accomplished. You can take another step. Maybe, just like the poem said, maybe you need to just rest, take a pause, and then come back again. You know, some of the other things that you, that I encourage you to do is get out in nature. Go for a walk. Even just go sit on your front porch if you don't have the energy to go walking. Okay? Listen. Open the window and listen to the birds singing. Get your face in the sunshine for at least two or three minutes a day. That can start to change things for you. But if you're always you know, just focusing in on one area and you're always just focused in on your computer or you're focused in your business and you're not going outside, you're not going to be changing the rhythm and the possibilities of what can come to you. So next week, we're going to be talking about systems and bringing order to chaos in business. These things are so, so important in your business. And um, if you're feeling like you want to quit, this might be a show to really support you to start to put some things in place so you don't quit. And it, it will, you know, I really want to encourage you and show you how systems can really support you to make your business much more pleasurable. So, my friends, if you have not downloaded the Inspired Choices Network smartphone app yet, why haven't you? You can listen to thousands of podcasts in our um in our library, you can listen to all the live streaming shows that are coming through there 24 seven. And you can see all of our amazing hosts that are there. You want to download that you can be listening to that when you're walking, you can be listening to that when you're driving, whatever you can have that phone app right in your hand, the palm of your hand. We also have a fabulous TV site, inspiredchoicesnetwork.tv, where you can check out all of our hosts live and in color. Do you remember when they used to say that? Live and in color today. <laughs> so you can check out uh, that website. If you're someone who is looking for more support in your business, and you really don't know which direction to go, maybe you're struggling with your website, you're overwhelmed with your emails, you don't know about systems, you're not sure about pricing. If all of this seems overwhelming, give me a call. This is things that I love to do. These are things that I support my clients, and I have a lot of fun doing it. And we can make some changes really quickly to start moving you in the direction to grow your business and for you to have a lot more fun. So send me an email, Christine, at inspiredchoices.ca. Let's have a conversation. And also, if you're someone who would like to bring your voice to the world or you know someone that you would love to hear on this platform that you think would be amazing at bringing their expertise to the world, also send me an email and set, let me know about your interest in possibly joining our network. So again, next week, systems bringing order to chaos in business. Thank you all so very much for being here. I want you to remember that if you will institute these exercises that I have shared with you, they'll become part of your norm and you will rush all of those don't quits away. Remember, my friends, until next week, you can always make another choice. I'm your host, Christine McIver. I can't wait to see you next week. Mwah. Take good care, my friends. Thank you for choosing to listen to Inspired Choices Show. 
Christine McIver will return next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, be willing to choose what you really desire. This is your life, making the choices that bring you all that you desire.